The Competition Commission has initiated investigation into Vodacom, 5 billion rand contract with a treasury. The company is being probed for abuse of dominance. Vodacom secured an exclusive contract with Treasury, a provider of telecom communication services for the government and they say that the Vodacom has taken their biggest stance in this industry as a lead into helping them get the contract with Treasury. The Competition Commission feels that this may be in violation of the Competition Act. The Commission believes the contract will further entrench Vodacom's dominant position in the relevant market. This will rise the entry or bar the entry and expansion in the relevant market, the stored competition in the telecommunications market, results in a loss of market share for other network operators. Contract may constitute an exclusionary abuse of dominance by Vodacom. Our information is that there was a tender and there are a couple of companies that did tender, including Telcom, Metro Global Tele, uh, Metro Services, MTN, and, and also Vodacom. I must remember Vodacom owns uh, about 58% uh, of uh, this market, and these are highly concentrated market, as you can uh, imagine. And therefore, there are certain obligations put uh, on the dominant firm by the Act, and we, see, we believe that... Uh, those um, have been uh, transgressed and therefore we need to investigate it because the nature of this uh, contract as we see it at this point is that it prohibits um, the 20 government departments from dealing with uh, competitors of Oracom and therefore that creates a serious competition concern for us and this is what we have to investigate. We have the options of either settling with them or taking them to the competition tribunal. Uh, for an adjudication in terms of this particular contract. In a statement last night, Vodacom Group CEO Shamil Yusuf said there was a fair tender process. It was fairly contested. Vodacom had to go ahead and put their best foot forward. Vodacom went through a well-defined process of trying to get cost of mobile services down. Vodacom also says it will cooperate with the probe and is happy to deal with the commission. Treasury to insist the tender process was fair, but the Commission has now clarified that it is not challenging the legality of the contract between Vodacom and Treasury. It is the outcome of that contract that may contravene the Competition Act. It is Vodacom's legal responsibility to ensure that the outcome is not anti-competitive. We can talk to Treasury and advocate, but we don't have the power to stop them. However, we have the power to prosecute Vodacom. Leon Rawls, Progressive Blacks Incorporated, uh, joins us on the phone line. A very good uh, evening to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us on the phone line. Now, do you believe it is uh, fair for the competition and practice to have a one service provider granted entire mobile communication contract for all government departments? Uh, good evening and uh, welcome to all the listeners as well. Uh, our biggest concern is that... Uh, Vodacom right now is competing directly with our SMMEs, so it's definitely uh, unfair, especially in the market. I mean, government is your biggest ICT spend, and already all the ICT spend budget is already going to companies like your Vodacom, especially in the sector of IT. But what we're finding and what the complaints that we have received from some of our SMMEs is that the question they're asking is, where is their share in this whole thing? Some of them are partners with Vodacom, others are partners with MTN. So this deal definitely excludes them and it's definitely unfair and we support the competition board as the progressive blacks and ICT. Now with dozens of other service providers out there, could they not have split the contract to accommodate all players, especially when we talk of transformation and empowerment? Yes, that is definitely what we were expecting because if you look at the process uh, during the tender process, the expectation in the market, as well as here in ICT, everyone was hopeful that you will have more than one service provider. I mean, if you have to look, even giving one service provider is also not just only uh, disadvantaging SMEs, but it's putting government at risk as well. What then happens if something has to happen to the Vodacom network? Then the whole of government is down. So those are just some of the issues that uh, we, we were looking at. But we were expecting that at least you'll have two or three 
uh, that uh, service providers have to be able to provide these services. You can't be having one service provider that decides one day I'm dropping data to 50 percent by 50 percent. Why were you charging that 50 percent in the first place? I mean, this is showing the concern of the competition board that Vodacom can abuse this power, which is what they're doing now. And besides, Vodacom is, uh, is more than 60 percent owned by UK, just like how KPMG is. So we're having another UK company coming to uh, abuse power and also to play fools with our government and our people, especially now that we're talking radical economic transformation. If we have SMMEs tomorrow or black emerging company tomorrow, so it means that for the up until 2020, they can't benefit from the government spend that is promised to them. And our biggest question is, when is this contract going to be cancelled? And we're asking, where is the 30% for our SMMEs, of which we're not even uh, accepting, because you are saying it must be 51% uh, for our SMMEs. Now, how is this debacle going to affect the relations amongst the service providers? Well, I think that uh, from where we're sitting and from just what you you would be looking at is uh, obviously the space is open and there is competition and so forth. Uh, but our biggest uh, problem that we're having and the biggest effect right now is that how is it affecting our SMMEs? I can see the service providers that uh, obviously uh, Vodacom has got the biggest market share and they will continue to grow uh, over and above the other service providers. But what is this is going to happen is you've got the SA Connect tender that is also out now. And which means that it's going to be putting Vodacom again at another advantage of benefiting in a budget of now 450 million for the SA Connect tender. So the other service providers as well as our SMEs that want to play in the space, they're already disadvantaged because of this of uh, Vodacom. Now, let us go back and we must remember that Vodacom, when they came into the country, they promised that they were going to develop and build and uh, provide services in rural areas. They have failed to do that. And now they are coming and government is still giving them this, uh, uh, all of this uh, power for them to do what exactly. But in terms of the service providers, definitely uh, there's going to be uh, a serious fight between them because it is actually disadvantaging them. But worse, we're coming from an angle where we're saying it's disadvantaging, especially our SMMEs. And Vodacom is not coming out to even say that this is how we will benefit our, uh, the SMMEs through this project. Instead, they are going and competing with our SMMEs uh, in terms of uh, getting this contract. And that is just not fair. Well, thank you so much to Leon Rolls joining us there on the phone line, just giving us some of his input on the story as to Vodacom and the relationship and how this is going to affect the relationship between the service providers in South Africa.